Casual fans would all say that both Conor McGregor and Joe Rogan are the best of friends, with Conor McGregor doing post-fight interviews, always calling Joe Rogan by his first name only and putting his hand around his shoulder while cuddling up very closely to him. Joe Rogan would also return the same feelings, as shown for UFC 229, where the two would wrap around each other while Conor McGregor warned Joe Rogan not to allow Khabib Nurmagomedov to put his wig-like fur hat, called the Pupaha, on his head as he has done in the past. However, behind the scenes, Conor McGregor is not fond of Joe Rogan as he would criticise his commentary for UFC 202 with both the Irish and his team believing that whenever Nate Diaz would land a hit on Conor McGregor, the whole commentary team would go wild but would be the complete opposite when he would do damage to the American fighter. During episode 1268 of Joe Rogan's podcast, the UFC commentator would react to Conor's comments stating that he wasn't biased but called the fight with the knowledge of the last fight that Conor lost. It it should also be noted that both Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor are the only biggest UFC superstars not to feature on Joe Rogan's podcast. The closest Joe Rogan got to getting Conor McGregor onto his show was when he was able to secure a JRE MMA show with both Conor McGregor's head coach John Kavanagh and his nutritionist George Lockhart. Honestly, it seems that Conor is not a fan of Joe Rogan's work. In a video posted on social media in his hospital bed, he would mock Joe Rogan's commentary for UFC 264 when Dustin Poirier unleashed an onslaught of ground and pound in the first round on the Notorious. Here's a clip, guys. Enjoy. Couple of little scratches on the ear is all, yeah. Oh my god, the ground and pound. Yeah, right. Leave it out, yes. Novices. What's up, fight fans? The notorious here. Just out of the surgery room. Everything went to plan. Um, everything went perfect. I'm feeling tremendous. We got six weeks on a crutch now, and then we begin to build back. Um, you know, I want to thank all the fans all around the world for your messages of support. I hope you all enjoyed the show. I want to thank all the fans in attendance at the T-Mobile Arena. 21,800 fans in attendance. The place was absolutely electric. Um, it would have been, it was a hell of a first round. It would have been nice to get into that second round. And then, you know, to see what's what, but it is what it is. That's the nature of the business, a clean break of the tibia, and it was not to be. You know, Dustin, you can celebrate that illegitimate win all you want, but you've done nothing in there. That second round would have shown all. And, you know, onwards and upwards we go, team. We dust ourselves off, we build ourselves back, and we come back better than ever. Let's go, team. Couple of little scratches on the ear is all, yeah. Oh my god, the ground and pound! Yeah, right. Leave it out, with this. Novices. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. All of us are non-stop and may hope you have a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, please drop us a like and recommend us to a friend. It honestly means a lot. If you didn't, that's completely fine. But please provide us with your feedback instead of a dislike so we can improve the growth and quality of our channel for the future. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys on the flip and let us run that funny clip. Will you believe everything is possible?